people. So, it's your boy Rex again. Um, I get a lot of questions, man, like about endorsements and, you know, things of that nature. Like, yo, what do I need to do to get an endorsement? Like, what, uh, you know, who should I talk to? Um, things of that nature. Like, my thing is this. The young dudes, see, the my big bros, you know, and y'all all know who they are. They they gave it to me straightforward. Like, they told me what I should be doing, what I shouldn't be doing, how I should go about things, how I shouldn't go about things. And they didn't cut no corners. Like, you know, I knew they loved me as a little brother, but when it came to the business, they didn't. You know, they didn't play around, you know, uh, because they knew the business. I didn't know the business. But at the end of the day, you know, man, when it comes to these endorsements, man, you younger musicians and actually some of you older musicians, you know, endorsements just don't fall out the sky. Um, And what I mean by that is you have to work to get an endorsement. At least that's how it should be. Um, If you're not playing for anybody, then you shouldn't even be talking about being endorsed. Being an endorsee, an endorser, whatever you want to call it. I don't care what word you use. That shouldn't even be a conversation. Because the simple fact of the matter is, when you're endorsing a product, then the people that are looking up to you or look to you for certain things, those people are going to want to go out and buy what you're playing because you're playing it. You know, and this goes for drummers, keyboard players, guitar players, bass players. I don't care who you are. You know, I didn't really go forth in trying to get endorsements of a certain uh, stature or whatever, you know, until I started doing Mary. And um, I had other gigs before her. I had a lot of gigs before, but I didn't feel they were enough to put me on a level of, okay, people are looking at me now, so they may want to know, you know, what I'm playing. You know, so I took my time. And even the first couple years I was out with her, you know, I kind of chilled, you know, to make sure that I was really her drummer, you know. I don't want to fill in for somebody and then be like, you know, yo, I'm playing for this artist, you know, but in the end, I'm a sub. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know too many players in the NBA that are coming off the bench that have gym shoe endorsements because basically their gym shoes don't get dirty anyway. So why would you need to get a free pair of gym shoes? You know what I'm saying? Like, it sounds like a stupid scenario, but I was talking to my homies, Marcus and Keys, today, and I was like, I want to ask some of these younger dudes or whatever, if your family owned a gum company, like Double Mint, Spearmint, Winter Fresh, would you give a person with no teeth a gum endorsement? The answer is no, because they don't have any teeth. So who is going to be worried about what they're chewing? They don't have any teeth to begin with. And I'm being dead serious right now. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm You see, I'm not laughing. Like, so why are you so caught? The point of endorsers is not to get free stuff. You have to do stuff for the company as well as they do it for you. And a lot of these cats mess it up for guys that really, really deserve the endorsements because, you know, everybody's just sending in a resume. Like, you shouldn't send in a resume if the only thing you have on your resume is your 12 o'clock church service. Like, you know, and I'm not down in church because I play at church every Sunday I'm home. So don't get caught up into like, oh, he think, no. I'm saying how many people are going to see you playing drums at your church, you know, and why do you need free stuff to play at your church? You just had a church pay for it. 
You know what I'm saying? And even if it's not free with some of these companies, you have to pay a percentage depending on what your deal is. And with that being said, you don't, you know, don't get so caught up in, oh, I want to be signed with this company, but they only giving me 50% off. You better take the 50% and run. You feel me? Because you could you can actually be paying a hundred percent out the store plus tax. So don't man, y'all young musicians, and like I said, some of you old musicians, man, y'all gotta get it together. Like, I don't know everything. Let me put that out there now. Some nigga be like, oh Rex, man, he thinking no, I don't know everything, but I do voice my opinion on what I think I do know. You know what I'm saying? So you really gotta chill out. With the whole, you know, you don't want an endorsement just to say you have an endorsement. Especially if the company you're endorsing stinks. The companies I'm with, I was playing them before I got endorsed. And if I had to, I would buy the stuff again. You know, that's what a real endorser does. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. Because at the end of the day, you know, I learned, like, my boy Calvin Rogers, for instance, one of my best friends, he bought a Yamaha drum set before he had a Yamaha, a Yamaha endorsement. That made Yamaha respect him more because it wasn't just about getting free gear because they knew he had his own drum set already. You know, man, so just, you know, just take it easy, man. Just when your time comes, you'll know it's your time. But, you know, because you're playing at a big church or you want a contest or you're filling in for, you know, another drummer, that doesn't really classify you or solidify you, you know, however you want to put it, to be the, in the endorsement, you know, lane. When it's your time, man, it'll come. And believe me, when it comes, it's going to come hard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know, that's just, a, that's just, well, not a quick video. It's like nine minutes. But, uh, whatever. You don't have to watch it no more. But, this Rex, man. Peace. Broken Bring the heat. Bring the heat. Bring the heat. Bring the heat.